Okay guys, we are going to do a little bit of our warm up here. So you'll be expected to finish it up, but we'll start some of this together. So number one says what is the value of this expression? Okay. So hopefully you know a number next to parentheses, that's multiply, right? So and I look down here, I'm seeing all fractions. So that means I need to solve this as a fraction, first of all, okay? So that's one thing I know. Second thing I can see is I have a negative here, and when I multiply, hopefully you remember, we do the triangle. I have a positive times a negative. Positive times negative gives me a negative. So if nothing else, I know my answer is negative. And the good thing is, guys, that tells me two of these answers are incorrect. So I have it down to between two answers, okay? So one thing you can do is estimate. So this I would round to seven, seven six and three, four, so it's closer to seven. This I would generally round to 12, but I'm actually just, since I rounded this one up, I'm gonna round this one down to 11, okay? Since it's kind of that midway point, okay? So 7 times 11, 77. So if I were to guess, this is going to be the answer I think is the right answer, okay? But you're going to show work for it, right? So I have 6 and 3 fourths. And then I need this one as a fraction, okay? So hopefully we know 0.5 is the same as 1 half, okay? 0.5 is the same as 1 half, so 11 and 1 half. And I'm not going to put the negative because we already took care of that here and here, okay? So remember, when we multiply, we do Texas. We don't do an LCD, okay? So we make this improper. 6 times 4 plus 3. What is 6 times 4 plus 3? Six times four is 24, plus three is 27 over four. And then two times 11 plus one. What is two times 11? Then plus one, and hopefully you get 23. Two times 11 is 22, plus one is 23, okay? Normally I look for a relationship, but this is prime. This is prime. This will divide by 3 and 9. It doesn't work with these, so I cannot simplify. So your job is to multiply these two numbers. Multiply these two numbers. Let's do that together. 4 times 2, 8. Okay. You multiply those, and then you're going to divide to make it mixed. And when you do that, you're going to get one of these two answers. Okay. Number 2 says a car travels 153 miles using 10 and 1 fifth gallons of gas. How many miles did the car travel per, I'm maybe having a hard time seeing that one, per gallon of gas, okay, per gallon of gas. So, Hopefully, guys, my question, how many, how many what? How many miles per gallon, okay? How many miles per gallon? So miles per gallon. That is what my question is asking. So miles, I have 153. Gallons, I have 10 and 1 fifth. Okay, so I'm basically dividing 153 divided by 10 and 1 fifth. Remember, this is called a complex fraction when we have it like this. We don't want to write it like that, so we're going to fix it. So this is divide. So divide, we do it very similar to multiply. We make it improper. So think of what we do to this number to make it improper. We put it over 1. Divide by, let's do Texas. Okay, 
5 times 10, 50 plus 1 is 51 over 5, right? Then we do keep, change, flip. That's This is the one place where it's different from multiplication, okay? So keep, change, flip. Now what I will tell you is there is a relationship, but most of us probably are not going to see it. So just multiply, multiply, and then divide to make it mixed. Okay, if you do it correctly, guys, you will have a whole number. So divide that to make it mixed, and you will have a whole number. Okay, so number three says a farmer has six and a half acres of land. The farmer plants three-fourths of the land. I'm sorry, the farmer plants corn on three-fourths of the land. How many acres of land has corn planted on it? So we're basically looking for corn on this one. Okay, so I have in here, this is my acres. Okay, I have six and a half acres, and I went on and divided it into fourths because three-fourths of this is going to be corn. So less than six and a half. More than half of that, so if I think of like half of six, it would be like three. So it's got to be more than three, less than six and a half. So if I think of how much is shaded here, just estimating that. So what I want to tell you is, guys, this right here, of, uh, is almost always multiply. So I want you to circle that and put a time sign, okay? Three-fourths of the land. How much land? Six and a half. So we're going to multiply this just like we did on the other problems. Okay. Of is almost always multiply. Okay. We can consider that we're taking part of another number. In this case, we're taking three fourths. So three fourths times or of six and a half. Okay. So we need to make this improper, right? So 3 fourths times 2 times 6, 12 plus 1 is 13 over 2. Okay, prime, prime, prime. Your job, multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. 4 times 2 again, 8. Divide to make it mixed. And that will tell you how many acres are corn. If you do it correctly, when you divide, guys, you're going to have a number that's for something. Make it a fraction. Make it a mixed number. Okay? So I'm just going to quickly talk about these, but you're going to do these yourself. There's different ways to do number four. If you were in class, we did it a little bit of a different way. It says, than what I'm going to explain here. This says, Stephanie has three and three-fourths bags of soil to put in her garden. Each bag will cover 125.3 square feet. So you have three and three-fourths, and they each cover this much. So if I have one bag, it covers this much soil, okay? If I have two bags, it's going to be another one, okay? And three bags, it's another one, okay? So you can tell by doing this, guys, I'm going to be multiplying. So that's literally what I'm doing, okay? I'm going to multiply these two, okay? And I know this one's not a fraction. Just put it over one. Make that mixed. Multiply the top. I'm sorry. I said that wrong. Make that improper. Multiply the top. Multiply the bottom. Divide, and you will find your answer, okay? The last one to me is the easiest, but... Also easy to make a mistake. It says the table shows the prices of some breakfast items at a restaurant. Sarah ordered two eggs, a slice of bacon, and a glass of orange juice for breakfast. The sales tax was 48 cents. She paid for her breakfast with a $10 bill. How much change? Don't forget that. How much change should she receive? So you need to figure out how much she has to pay, and don't forget the tax. Also, remember, there are two eggs. That's one thing I'm scared you'll forget. And remember, they may not put the number. They may say it like that. You've got to be able to look for it. So you're adding 
two eggs, bacon, orange juice, and the tax, right, to find your total. Once you get that, you will subtract and find your change.